take a look. This is what it has come to at one restaurant in Beijing, China. Chinese state media released this video of a creative system to help keep the coronavirus at bay. Servers use that slide to get their takeout bags to customers. They're also using barricades to keep a healthy distance during the outbreak. And the coronavirus officially now has a new name. The World Health Organization dubbed it COVID-19. That's short for coronavirus disease, which was detected last year in 2019. Chinese state media also released this video showing hundreds of trucks spraying disinfectant on the streets in Luyang, which is about 350 miles from Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak. Chinese authorities say the death toll continues to climb, now topping 1,000. The number of confirmed cases in the country is nearing 50,000. Meanwhile, here at home, the American evacuees rejoiced earlier today, tossing their surgical masks in the air like graduation caps as they were finally allowed to leave the Air Force base where they've been quarantined for two weeks. In just a moment, we're going to go live to Japan where thousands are still under quarantine. But first, Maggie Ruley gives us the very latest. The virus today given an official name, COVID-19. It's infected over 43,000 and killed more than a thousand people, nearly all cases in China. In the U.S., the 13th confirmed case of the virus. A passenger quarantined on base in Myanmar in California has now tested positive. But tonight, a bright spot. Nearly 200 Americans under quarantine since flying in from Wuhan two weeks ago are now free to go home. Protective masks tossed in the air in celebration at March Air Reserve Base. I'm very grateful to be cleared and headed home. And Maggie Ruley joins us now live again from Yokohama, Japan, uh, where the anticipation is building for that quarantine to be lifted. So Maggie, give us a sense of how people are doing and what you're observing. A lot of people were saying they wanted to get past hump day, but they still have a week left on this quarantine. And people on board, the general consensus when we asked them is that they're trying to hang in there. But Lindsay, just a couple moments ago, we got some alarming new numbers. Japanese health ministry now confirming 39 more cases, more passengers on board this ship testing positive for this new coronavirus. These numbers are just staggering. It seems like every day more and more cases. In addition, this time, a one quarantine health worker, they say, have also tested positive for this virus. And so a lot of people on board tell us as these new numbers come out, out, they almost seem never ending. Uh, you know, that retired couple that we featured, we spoke with them quite a bit. Uh, we've gotten to know them on the ship and they were uh, very positive, trying to hang in there. But when her husband came down with that fever, it was scary. They're stuck in that room without access to daylight, without access to a lot of information. They're waiting on doctors. And she, uh, she said she was scared. She felt helpless. So I do want to share the bit of good news is that she says her husband's fever has broke at this point. But Lindsay, he still hasn't been tested for the virus. So many people are, are wondering, you know, what is the actual number? on board the ship. When we talk about quarantine, it's supposed to end February 19th, but the CDC says they can extend it for unforeseen circumstances. So people just fear the unknown right now. They don't know who's sick or how long they're going to have to stay on this boat. Okay, Maggie Ruley, thank you very much. Certainly some daunting information uh, with that, but we're glad at least his, his fever has broken at this time. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.